Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my Hello March monthly plan with me. So the kit that I'm using this week or this month is from Paper Chic Plans. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box as I always do, but I'm just going to give you a quick flip through. So your front page here has got your two headers section or header washies that go at the top, some date dots, page flags and appointment labels. You also get this sheet here which is to block off the days that aren't in the month. So you can just block them off and then here you've got your stackable sidebar, some icons, page flags, two paydays, four bill dues and then you get four happy birthday banners which I think is a really cute idea and you've also got some little balloons there. And then the last page is some headers, some washi, more washi strips that are just solid washi. My cat is coming into my room. Um, you've also got three full boxes here and some deco. So that's the kit get it all back together. Let me just uh, take my cat out of the room because he will keep meowing and walking in front of the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. So uh, along with the kit, I decided to pull in some other stickers for this month. So I bought in some multicoloured stickers. These ones are from Hand Handmade Hayward. I'm not sure if their shop is still on Etsy, but I, if it is, I will leave the link down in the description box. But I just thought these multicolour bin icons would go really well with the kit colours. And from the same shop, I also bought some multicolour car icons. I can't remember if I need these this month, but they were kind of with these and I thought I'd just grab them. I've also got some multicolour bill juice stickers. I can't remember what shop this is from, but if I do suddenly remember, I will put it down in the description box, but I thought the colours went really well as well. And then I recently purchased these from Rose Coloured Days, which are just rose coloured, rose coloured, <laughs> which are just rose gold um, icons. So these ones is the money icons, and I also bought the YouTube icons to mark uploads. And of course, I've got a stack of my puppets. So let's get on and start this plan with me, pick everything up. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just put the two washi strips down and this is the kit for the happy planner size because last month, I don't think you guys have seen or I've shown you, it was such a mess last month, the kit, I mean this is how it turned out. I mean, every time I look at this, I don't like it. The kit wasn't for a happy planner, so I had to cut everything about and try and make it fit. And it was just a complete disaster. So that's why I kind of went with a shop that I already know and I already love and trust. I just thought I'm not gonna risk another <laughs> malfunction. So that's why I went with oh, paper sheet plans. Let me just try and get this down. So March is kind of busy, um, my spreads normally are quite bare to start with and they just fill up throughout the month, um, but I've got a few things to put in so it's pretty busy. Now originally I was supposed to be filming this video on Monday, so I filmed my bullet journal video on Monday and then I thought instead of doing my food shop um, today, which is Tuesday, uh, I'll do it on Monday to get it out, done out of the way. I'm just going to put the um, section down over the days that aren't in the month. Um, just to free up some space. And I thought, oh, that's okay. I can film on Tuesday. Take the whole day. Take my time. Um, and then we woke up today and we it had snowed so much overnight that the schools were shut. So, um, yeah, my children were all home from school, which meant I couldn't film. And it also means that I haven't managed to do my voiceover yet for my bullet journal video. Um, but it's now, it's quite late at night. I'm trying to see what the time is, hang on. It's now half past eight at night on Tuesday. And my children are still up, they're downstairs. So if you do hear my children or anyone, then I apologize. But they did promise me they would be nice and quiet while I film upstairs. There we go. Oh, that looks really pretty. I'm loving these colours. It's so nice. Um, right, so the first thing that I think I'm going to do... Shall I just do the sidebar? Um, or shall I just go in and fill out the things I need to do? 
Let's do the let's do my bills because um, then they're done and I won't forget anything. So I've got a bill due on the first. Let's do a nice green one. Put this down at the bottom. So this is for my water. It actually comes out direct debit, but I always like to remind myself that it's coming out, so it's not like a big shock when a big chunk of money disappears from my account. Um, so that's then... When else have I got a bill due? I'm just checking my... Oh, on the 29th, I've got four bill dues. It's like the most painful day ever. So, do I do... I could put two of them on one. Have I got any other bill dues? I've got a feeling I've got another bill due somewhere and I'm missing it. Actually, let me put one of these at the bottom. I think I'm going to put two onto one. One, two, three, four. So that would mean, yeah, I think that'd be best. Yeah. Okay. So I've got a orange. So let's do the green. Oh, this is nice paper. Oh, it doesn't fill the whole box. Okay, change of plan, guys, change of plan. Take this one up. I'm going to put two onto this one. They're a bit thin, but I think it will be okay. I think I can make it work. And let's do a nice a purple one. much better so just stacked those and then every Thursday I need to put the bins out so usually what I have been doing or have been trying to do is use the green and black bin in my like weekly plans but as it's a nice spread I think I'm going to use the colours that kind of match the kit and my bins go out every Thursday and then I'll just write next to it whether it's the black bin or the green bin so put this one down there and we'll do, hmm, where did my other sheet go? This bluey, purpley colour. And I kind of want to keep the greens because I've been using them throughout the week. So huh, I'll use a purple. I'll use this purple. There we go. Um, then I have a payday every Tuesday. So, like I said, I ordered... What have I done with them? Uh, hang on, guys. Am I sitting on them? I'm sitting on them. It's okay. They're here. Um, from Rose Coloured Days. These literally came in the mail today. And look how pretty and shiny they are. They make me so happy. So, I have a payday every Tuesday. Now, do I use the pound sign or the bags? I'm going to use the bags, I think for this week. Oh, they make me so happy. You guys probably can't even see them on screen. I'm just going to put them in. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying earlier, the um, snowfall that we had over the weekend was probably about four inches. I'm kind of guessing here. I'm, I think it was about four inches, which I know to some of you is not a lot, but everywhere kind of come to a standstill today and everyone rushed out and bought everything in case they get snowed in for like months on end <laughs> uh, it's quite funny because I have family out in America that have serious snow like when you say they're snowed in they're literally snowed in and then over here in England we get like a centimeter of snow and we're like oh my goodness we can't do anything can't go to work can't go to school everything's going to shut down uh what did I just pull these up for what did I oh to film Oh no, for my upload, sorry, on a Monday. See, I've already put those stickers in the wrong place. I've put them in on a Monday. They're supposed to go in on a Tuesday. Oh well. I'm just going to swatch these over. So the kids are hoping that it snows again tonight. I think it is supposed to snow again tonight. Um, and that way they'll have another snow day tomorrow. 
which is another reason why I said to my fiance, look, I really need to go and film because if they're home tomorrow, this video is not gonna be going up on time. And then I explained to him how my other uh, monthly plans with me's have been such a mess. I said, I just, I need to prove my, to myself that I can do a monthly plan with me. He was like, okay, chill out, go. I'm gonna put the little film icon down to mark down for my upload for my plan with me's. I'm gonna have to like make another order to get some more of these because I can see that these are all gonna be gone very soon. And then, should we just go in day by day because I feel like it's gonna be a bit easier. Let's do that. Okay, so on the first I need to upload this plan with me. So I'm gonna use a little YouTube sticker. Oh, come on. Put that there. And then, See, I was going to be doing a new release video, but I'm super far behind on my new releases because we've had half term and I'm just really behind. So I'm thinking about doing weekly releases again like I used to do. So instead of putting a video up with all my new releases, I will probably put them on Instagram. It's probably the best place that you're going to see what's coming up into my shop. And I'll leave my Instagram link here if you don't already follow me. And if you don't have Instagram, then don't worry about it because I will still show you my new releases in my weekly plan with me's. So either way, you're going to be able to see them. It's just that I don't think I'm going to do monthly ones anymore. So I'm not gonna put in that I'm gonna film and upload a new release video. I'm gonna leave that blank. Um, and then on the 7th, I've actually been planning for a whole year. Can you believe it? Um, I brought my, or I got my first planner on the 7th of March and I think I started uploading videos. Um, oh, let me see if there's a icon for that. I started uploading YouTube videos. I think it was in May, I think. I'll have to check, but I've definitely been planning for a year on the 7th, so I kind of want to mark that. Oh, let's use one of the appointment labels. Because even though it's a weird thing to mark like a special occasion, it's kind of a special occasion for me, so I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna put that near the top. Up there, and I'll use one of the little glitter hearts. There, that looks cute. Okay, and then on the 18th, it's Mother's Day, which is down here. So do I bring anything out for that? I keep putting things down and losing them. I've lost my poppets. Oh, they're here. I think I'm gonna use a family time sticker because they're just adorable. And that's what I wanna do on Mother's Day. I just wanna spend the day with my children. So I'm gonna use one of the half boxes. And they're a little bit smaller than these boxes, so I'm just going to centre it a little bit. The 25th, the clocks go forward, and I'm always one of the last people to know. So I'm going to mark it in my calendar this year. So they go forward on the 25th. Is there a clock icon? Um, hmm. There's a house icon which I could use. Is there an exclamation mark? There's an asterisk. No clock. So I think I'm going to use the house icon because obviously you need to change the clocks in your whole house. So I'm just going to put that down there. And then on the 29th we have a payday. Or my partner has his payday. So I might use one of these if I've left room. Yeah. Use one of the payday stickers that comes with the kit or like pay flags. I'm going to put it in this uh, corner though so then I won't cover it up with the date dots. Which I definitely want to use because they're multicoloured and they're just really cute. Um, I've done my bills. On the 30th we have a bank holiday. Um, shall I mark that with a page flag? Hmm. I can hear my children downstairs talking. Hopefully they don't go crazy and make lots of noise. I kind of want to cover that Passover section. 
I could use it on an appointment label. No. I'll just mark it under there with a page flag. With a green page flag. Ooh, on the 8th. Doesn't Jessica Jones come back? The series two. Is it on the 8th or am I thinking about April? No, I think it is. It's on the 8th. So Jessica Jones comes back with the series two. And I really love the first series. So I'm hoping the second series is going to be just as good. Because it's so bad when you get into something and then you wait forever for the second series. And it comes on and you're like, oh, <laughs> really? I'm going to put the little TV icon down for that. I'm really excited about that, actually. Um, then I've gone out of date here. Bank holiday. Oh, my son's birthday. See, I thought about Jessica Jones before I thought about my son's birthday. That's pretty bad. So she does have some birthday... She has four birthday stickers that comes with the kit, which is really cool. I'm trying to think what colour. Let's do this kind of bluey purple colour. And it's also on the same day my cousin's birthday. So I will just grab the pink one for Madison. And put her down there. And then I'll put my son's birthday. And just stack that on top. There are some balloons that comes with the kit. But I thought I might actually use my poppets. So... I'm going to use the yellow poppet, or the yellow poppet, the poppet with the yellow balloons. I'm just going to put him, I'm going to put him down there, which kind of covers up that a little bit, but that's okay. Let me just zoom you in a little bit more. I feel like you guys can't see properly. There we go. Oh, my foot's going to sleep already. Okay. Um, I also have another payday on the 24th. Did I use all of the payday stickers? No, there's another one here. Put that on the corner. I'm so happy I remembered about Jessica Jones. I would have cried if I had forgotten about that. Um, for my bullet journal, I'm thinking I might upload that on... The Wednesday so that way I'm uploading a video on the Monday the Wednesday and then it will be on the Sunday because that'll be the first I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna put another little YouTube sticker down at the bottom so that'll be for my bullet journal um, on the third I've got to go to the opticians to pick up my daughter's glasses I'll use the bl blue one. Oh, let's put a little box or something in there. Um, I could use a piece of washi. I've got this poppet stuck on my hand now. I think we'll use a green piece of washi. I'll put that near the top. Mm, I'll put him over there. And then on the Friday, my daughter is having a sleepover with all of her friends. So, I mean, they'll probably get takeaway pizza and stuff. So I might do the fast food. Mm, mm, mm. Let's do the tacos one. I don't often use them, so I'm just going to... Oh, they're pretty big, aren't they? I'm going to plop them down in the middle, and then I'll just write it above there. Um, oh, and then I've got parents' evening on the 15th. So I think I'm going to use a family poppet on one of these appointment labels. I could have used one of these, but that's okay. 
and we will use these tops kind of match the spread perfectly so I'm going to put them I'm going to put them in the corner up there oh I love them they're like my favorite poppets uh, okay so I think that's mainly everything hmm I do film every Friday but I'm not worried about putting that in oh my budget budget <laughs> my bullet journal my budget journal sorry I've got like three journals or three planners on the go now. I've got my happy planner, my bullet journal, and then my budget bullet journal, which I do every Sunday that I kind of do want to mark, but what can I mark it with? Um, let me just have a quick look, see what I've got. Oh, they've also got, while well, I think about it, half term, which is on the 28th. Good job I didn't forget to put that in. So I'm going to do that on another piece of washi. Washi? No, another appointment label. I'm just going to put that up at the top. And I put a little happy poppet there because they will be very happy about that. So that is half term. And then on Friday I need to arrange the car. That's why I bought these out. I knew there would be a reason. So I need to, because my fiancé takes the car to work with him, so then I just borrow my mum and dad's car. Um, let's do a purple. And I'm going to put that down there to arrange the car so we can go out for the day. Now I can't remember what I was looking for before, so that's fine. Let me put the date dots in and then we can do the sidebar. And then anything else I've forgotten, hopefully I will remember. Okay. Let me do that. Okay, right. Um, when I done my monthly, I think it was like my January one, it's been so long, I can't really remember. I did say if anybody had a question to like put them down below and I would answer them when I'm putting the date dots down. Um, otherwise it's obviously a bit boring watching me do these tiny, tiny date dots. But they are definitely worth doing because they just pull this spread together. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Uh, I did have a question from Kimberly, and it's been so long she's probably thinking, well, I didn't ask any questions. But you did, Kimberly, and you did ask if I would prefer a more functional monthly kit or a more deco-y monthly kit. I don't think I worded that exactly how you wrote it. Um, but that was the question that she asked and she like totally understands me. She knows that I love my deco and I'm a bit deco crazy. Although I've been doing really well actually this year. I feel like I need to praise myself. Maybe I should reward myself by buying more deco stickers. No, that would not be a good idea. But um, I would definitely prefer for a monthly kit a more functional based kit with lots of different stickers that you can actually use for things that you need to use them for throughout the month whereas a more deco heavy kit I feel would not be as useful unless you've got like lots of these kind of stickers that you can just pull in from your collection then go for the deco but I would say for me personally I always look for functional stickers in a uh, monthly kit and with paper sheet plans I feel like she's got the ratio perfectly she's got lots and lots of functional things and then she does include a load of deco so it's a win-win so yeah that was my answer I hope I answered your question well enough Kimberly um, if anybody else has any more questions then leave them down below and I will answer them in my next monthly plan with me because that only lasted for me to put 12 days down. <laughs> 14, 15. Oh, let me know down in the comments if you think going back to weekly releases would be a good idea. I think I'm so far behind this month and this is like the first month I've ever not been ready for a release in my shop. 
because um, we had half term in February which kind of obviously meant that I'd lost some time for designing and also both of my sons went very well so altogether I kind of lost like two and a half weeks and that's why I'm not ready. So I would definitely rather take my time and change two weekly releases than to rush everything and put something out that I'm not 100% happy with. Well, I wouldn't even put it out, it would just be no releases that would come up. So I, that's my reasoning behind going back to weekly releases. So February for me has like literally just flown by. That went down a bit crooked. So my daughter on the second is having a sleepover because they've been studying really hard and having mock exams ready for their GCSEs. So I said that she could have some friends over, have a little bit of a chill out night and just to celebrate the end of exams. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. <laughs> kind of regretting saying that she can have some teenagers over to sleep. But they have worked really hard so they definitely deserve a night off. My daughter leaves school in like four months. I can't, I just can't process it. It just doesn't seem real and then she'll be off to college so crazy they grow up so fast okay I am nearly done with the date dots two more to go the 30th and the 31st okay oh see that looks so nice when you've got all the date dots in Right, so let's move on and do the sidebar. So I'm going to need that and that. I don't need that. Okay, let's do some goals. I like to try and set myself up some goals for the month. I don't always tick them all off, but it's good to start with something to work towards. Sorry that completely went in the wrong place. There we go. Uh, so we'll do goals at the top and then what do I want to do? I can't remember even what I normally do. Um, what are the other headers? We've got events this month, bills. Oh, let's do a to do. Um, put this one in here. Do I want to leave a bit of a white space? Yeah, just to break that up a little, I think. Yeah. And then another. I'm so happy that this kit actually fits and looks really nice. Um, I've probably got room for one more, but what do I want to do? Important bills, this month and events. Or I could do a bit of a, I could do a next month. Is that weird to put things for next month? Why would I need a next month section? Hmm. Goals to do. Oh, we'll, I'll put this in and then I'll figure out what it is in a little while. <laughs> Let's put this at the bottom actually first. See how much space I'll have. Mm. I might have to leave a tiny bit of white space on this one. Oh my goodness, I don't know what's crooked, this or the box. I think it's the box. <laughs> I'm still not used to doing these sidebars. They're different in my monthly view. 
uh, while we're here we might as well put some of the full boxes in which I should have done before the date dots I just realized but that's okay so I want to cover up this one here so I'm going to use the girl I'm gonna to have to take the date dot up oh please don't rip you date back on the top and then we will put one in on the on the 11th I'll do the green one on the 11th oh that come out much nicer have I got that the right way And then we'll put another one, we've got one more, should I put it on the 21st, See, down there would have looked nice, so let's put it down there, so I'm just going to move these two out of the way, I'm just going to stick that there for a second, put that down here. Oh, I just remembered what I was looking for ages ago. It was something to mark down for me to do my um, budget plan with me. Uh, budget plan with me. Oh my goodness, can I just talk properly today? My budget bullet journal. That's what I was trying to say. I wanted something to mark it because I do it every Sunday. But I don't think I've got anything to mark it. Let me just have a quick look. No, I don't. How many? One, two, three, four. I could do it with these little page flags actually, I might do that. Because I would really like to keep on top of it. So let's do that. Uh, put that near the bottom I think. One, two... Oh, am I going to fit it there? Mm -mm. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll miss that one. I'll just remember to do it. I'll put that one there. Okay. So we've got a few pieces of deco, which makes me so happy. Now, do I want to put it up there? I might put some on here, actually. Oh, I nearly ripped that one. Nearly ripped it. I'm going to put that... Oh, that's so delicate. On there. And... Gently pick this one up. I'm going to put that one on there. Oh, butterflies are really cute. Put that up there. I've just put that there and I'll put a flower on there oh there's another little baby butterfly oh I'll have to put them two together a few leaves shall I put this right down here Another leaf. Mm, where should I put this one? I'll put it there. And then the last leaf we will put. Hmm. I'll put it here. Oh, I just ripped something up. I felt it with my finger. That's that flower. And some flowers a little branch of berries oh there's another butterfly I didn't even see that put that one there a rose put 
that there with the other one. And then lastly, a little, oh, a little flower, which we'll put here. Okay. So I think that's everything. I'm just going to quickly fill everything out and decide if there's anything else to put in. <laughs> I'm just going to fix this because it's crooked and it really is annoying me. That's not going to stick down again so I'll just get another bit. This is not going to go down either. Oh. Oh, it might do. No, let's just get a fresh one. I've got one left and a piece of washi. I'll try and get this down a little bit straighter. No pressure, but it's my last one. I just felt like that was really off. That's better. And I put a piece of washi down. And if I layer it a little bit, then there's a bit more white space. And then hopefully I can save this piece of deco. Hopefully that won't lift up. Okay, I think that's it. I actually managed to do a monthly plan with me that didn't go too bad. I really love how it's turned out. I love the colours and I love the foil stickers. I don't know, it just makes me really happy and I'm really pleased. So I do have a few stickers left. I have some washies left and headers. I don't really need that sheet anymore. Um, and then on here I've got some icons and some more build juice. And I do have a little page flag if I put him back. So um, I'll keep hold of these and then if anything comes up throughout the month that I need an icon for anything, I can just take one of these and put it down. So I'll make sure I keep hold of those. But that was it for this month's spread. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. And as usual, if you are not subscribed to my channel and you would like to see more videos from me, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification. And that way you won't miss on any of my future uploads. I hope you guys have a really lovely week and I will see you on Monday with a plan with me. Bye guys.